god. Oh no. It's me no. and the bot. I was listening to the stream. Agony. I got 6.9k channel points, Amber. I got 7.8k. Yeah. On me? And welcome everybody to this Speed Simpsons race between Amber and Dilla Smith. It's going to be interesting third place in a group versus fourth place in a group. Uh, something's not quite right here because I don't think Smith is 27th on the leaderboard. However... Sick. <laughs> I'm good at this, I swear. I swear I changed that. No, wait, maybe... I am Axington123. Uh, joining me today on the comms booth is LP3 Cinema. Uh, one second. This is annoying me now. How come it did not let change? It didn't let change because I never let changed it. There we go. Nailed it. Alright, so Smith async, so it's just whenever Amber's ready. We'll, uh. we'll give it a couple seconds to do the predictions. Oh, for Ty Fuzzle mm -hmm. and Satchel, sick. I have started the prediction. I am uh, I'm good to go. Nice. We will transition to the other screen. Okay, one second. Amber, are you ready? Yes. Then let's begin in five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm a very low. And there are. Cake. Isn't that a Bill reference? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, I found my lost nacho. Good old Bill. I'm gonna watch it. I blame Stein. Hey, poop. Congratulations, Homer. Mission complete. Go back home and. Welcome to the Axington it's One Two Three Hour. Time. I love to sit. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Where am I gonna put all these? Take that. Okay, so unfortunately the restreamer has gone to uh, get, grab a cup of coffee. So coming through. We won't have uh, anybody to change it anytime soon. But for now, uh, we're just gonna relax. Uh, Smith I here. have road rage and I know how to use it. Fairly standard mission. You drive to a school, you speak to Lisa. Thanks for bringing me. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't tell it. And good looking. Is the gameplay very loud? Whoops. And apparently, there's double audio. Oh yeah, because the comms works on this one. Wait, what? No. Yeah, okay, so if I do...
I'm a lean, mean, speed you thingy. Talk? Hello. <laughs> Sweet. I to mute Smith's video. I swear I'm good at this. <laughs> that this happens. First time I've done it in ASIC, so. Um, I don't know why there would be double audio now, so. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like one of us was echoing. Yeah, it's, I forgot to because because it's an async. The last time I did this, I just had one Twitch stream muted. So I, I just, just forgot to mute the YouTube. Uh... Yeah, I just muted this source in OBS instead. So yellow stream will never have audio. We'll just do it from the live POV. That's fair. Um... This mission is pretty basic. Uh, I know you can save like a second or two here and there, but it's basically just based on lines. You take and not moving your stick a lot. Driving in a straight line is faster than like doing lots of mini adjustments. Because mini adjustments basically lose a little bit of speed every time. For those curious, Smith. Uh, gameplay is going to be at least 10 seconds ahead of Amber's no matter what because I tried to skip ahead in the async because the async didn't immediately start when he started the game and uh, I don't feel like trying to readjust it on the tiny screen it gives you when you hit interact in the source so he'll just have That's to fair. judge at the end of mission times who's winning To be fair, I think, you know, Amber's hands down winning this. Yep. Also, Derek, since you're in chat, you can tell me if I got Smith's FPS right, probably. I just guessed. I assumed it was 180. I mean, Amber's got, what, the six minute worst time? Smith's a former champion, reigning, defending champion, you know. Surely, surely Amber's favorite still. You would think so. Also, I like how the group match is just a question mark. Yeah, I wasn't about to go to the, <laughs> the sheet and count how many group homer matches have happened. Amber ran at 180. You ready for this? This is, this is about to be wild. Um, this is the fifth. Uh, Fifth one, apparently. We'll go with that. Totally line those up correctly. <laughs> They're both on 180, apparently. Um, I got this. Uh, this is not the best. I got this, don't worry. Easy. Oh no, I got it. This is big brain now. You guys aren't ready for the amount of big brainness that's about to happen. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be big brain. Crushed it. <laughs> Why do we bring this guy back every year? Like, god damn it. <laughs> it's time to wheel no. you to. The... <laughs> it's time to wheel. It's time to wheel you to a retirement home, old man. <laughs> Oh my god. For those wondering, I just worked 13 and a half hours and decided I don't I don't hate my life enough, so let me do a restream till 3 a.m. my time. Uh, 
Oh my god. That was funny. I am also a big fan of how I didn't crop Amber's timer correctly. Nailed it. And how neither one of these 180 FPS's are centered. Yeah, I was laughing of a fact to me it was off centering and. Oh. <laughs> Bro, it, for me it was the, the cropping the 150 into a 5 for group match 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Now we have no game audio? Yo, what is this? Wait a second. Okay, apparently it's fine now. What but happened? I don't know, I think Dick Dastley stole it. Hell yeah. Oh, cut yeah, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Amber just had the cutscene volume really quiet. Yeah, so if you have voices quiet, the cutscenes are really quiet as well. Mm -hmm. Because a cutscene volume is based off, uh, off that. You just blew my mind. I did not know that. Yeah. They can get either freebie. Smith having a skill issue. <laughs> Hold up. I keep noticing more stuff I screwed up. My name's not cropped correctly in the commentator box. Where am I gonna put all these? I'm um, one of a few people without uh, without a pony pronouns. Yeah, I couldn't find one with you with pronouns. I didn't know if you chose not to have any. Or... Yeah, I I chose not to. Okay, I just assumed that was the case okay, and just went with this. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in bank, bro. Yeah, I like how we have the option for like pronouns this year. Yeah. Six spin move by Smith out of the jump. That worked a lot better than I thought it was gonna. So we'll see what their homer one times are to judge how well they're doing. But Smith is having a pretty gamer homer one. It's looking like this is gonna be super low 11. Yeah, I think for Smith's level, like a high 10 is what you aim for uh, out of Home 1, but for a no reset, you kind of just. Yeah, I think low 11 is fine. Like, PBs would go for like 10 50 something? No? Probably, yeah. I know. I, I know a lot of uh, people around that level. Do like the 10, 10 4x, 10 5x. I know Potato cries if he gets an 11. Just in case anybody was curious, I got an email notification saying my payment was confirmed for my phone bill. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that was sub 11, wasn't it? I wasn't paying attention. I, just, I think just about. Yeah, I'll go with a 1059 since I wasn't paying attention. And we'll see what Amber gets to judge. <laughs> Going for a sports car in 2-1. That's, that's a bad strat. Oh. And then 11-22? 25, 20, whatever. 24. 11 2x, uh, I'll yeah. say, you know. 11 24 to a 10 59, though still better than my best Homer ones. So you had an 11 2x? Yeah, but it was like 28, 27, something. Oh, uh, I've had 11. I've had 11 18. Cool. That's also the year you were born. <laughs> Amber getting spun out there by Skinner, but really not going to be good, but it will escape. Uh, and again, if she doesn't escape now, it's just going to be uh, the icing on the cake. 
cherry on the pie. Yeah, being for 60 FPS, that's uh, better than an 11 2x and high FPS in my opinion. Homer one, when it comes to driving, is one of the ones most heavily affected by FPS in my opinion. There's a lot of yeah. bounces off hills and stuff to give you speed boost that you just don't get on 60. Amber went for the gamer move of just getting a sports car in 2-2. Although, she could have saved more time if she risked it and started the mission and then hoped it was there. True, but you know, does she really want to risk it too much? Uh... No, an 11.4x on 60 FPS ain't bad. Being, I would take that all day. Yeah, 11 4x is pretty standard, I think, for 60 FPS. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good time. I think my first race in this tourney, I got an 11 38, and I'm on 150, so. Yo, Detox. Almost turning into the retirement home here. <laughs> got me and Axie, and then you got Detox and Chad. Damn. Is calling Detops out like that? Uh, Smith having a pretty good run so far. Like... Amber's losing time here in red by driving into random things, like... And... The thing I it's like... It's not... Sorry, I just answer Spear and Chad. The thing I like about getting a sports car, going for a sports car in 2-2, is that there's five guaranteed traffic spots. So one of them is going to be a sports car no matter what. It just depends on how far away it is. That's fair. You can run a while for the other one and, you know, you could pull a hamstring running for the other one. Yeah. Uh, guys, guys like us would pull a hamstring. You know? God. From my age, running down the street like that, full pout for a sports car, whew. I get cramp in my leg, like... Yeah. Probably a stitch or two. Um, well, what do you mean by sponsor independent, Keith? Because um, if there's five traffic cars on screen at the same time, one of them is going to be a sports car. Because yeah. the because it would have to be a sports car, black van, the limo, and two taxis, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yep are the only five possible traffic spots. So if you have five cars on screen at once, one of them is going to be a sports car because it can't spawn anything else. This could be... Oh, Smith, uh, the donkey kick there from the black van, and Smith wrestling with... with uh, that was a bit of sumo wrestling there, like Big Show versus Akebono from WrestleMania 21 vibes. Versus who? <laughs> Akebono. I've never heard of that. Oh, Big Show did do a sumo wrestling match. Okay, I remember that. Against Akebono, yes. Yeah, I thought you were just naming, like, an actual, like, wrestler wrestler that's done it for a while. And I was like, who the hell? How have I not heard that name? But no, it was the one time they just brought in a legit sumo wrestler. I remember that now. I, didn't, I don't know how you remembered his name, but okay. Uh, so, because of a train yard, the uh, black van had... Go left after dirt jump? Wait, what did we uh, miss? So basically, Smith, when he went into the dirt jump, he clipped the wall a bit and spun around. And the locator for like where you need to be close to the black van is after the dirt jump. Because Smith was still stuck at the top, uh, he couldn't be close enough to... Um, make it go right at most oh yeah that happened to me in my tourney race i hit yeah. the wall and the black van went straight through but because um black van made it straight to um Mo's and i was just resetting my car it counted me as far enough away to where it went uh, left around the Mo's instead of through the shortcut no but it was enough for it was like a couple of seconds behind it, it and it's not that far behind but when um, 
dumb thing happens like that, it can it can go uh, left at most. Yeah, it's it's super possible. I've seen it. But the reason why I made that reference is because uh, Smith's black van was trying so hard to get stuck in the train yard and fighting, but Smith just pushed him out out the way, kind of thing. And just pushed him into line, which is Gambit kind of what you need to do to super Smith much. Was really good, and Ambers was really good. It's been two years since Gamden Jump came out. Yeah, that's wild that he pulled out that trick in a tournament too. Nobody had ever. By seen accident. It. Yeah. No, it wasn't by accident. He knew he was gonna do it. He was like, "I found this thing, and I think it's cool." And then he showed us. And sadly lost his mind on commentary. And then I think it was Derek that found a faster way to do that jump. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it was Derek. Think so? I know. I distinctly remember Derek trying to work it into uh, Hundo. Because. Yeah. Where you got monorail for a while changed um, to during 2-4 because there was just enough time to do that jump and if you did it right you would then be able to do monorail I believe. I distinctly remember Derek doing it. It might have been Derek and Liquid but I know Derek was definitely part of the conversation. I remember when it was really just Derek and Liquid that were like passionate about Hundo. Yeah, now we have Tika. And Gordo. Like, what? <laughs> I'm kidding, I love both those people. Don't, don't crucify me. Yeah, can't believe, can't believe they were at ASM last week. Yeah. I didn't even know they had a place called All Story Missions. Wild. Save me. Please. Imagine, imagine going to an event called ASM and running Hondo. That's a good name. Save me. <laughs> Please. I keep blinking, but nobody saves me. Yeah, right? It's because you don't use a webcam. Nobody knows what you look like. And here's Smith uh, getting a freebie, I believe. He must have made menu work. Oh, I didn't get a didn't incredible. give a box. I don't think I've ever seen someone get a freebie but not a box before. Getting stuck on the stairs. That's highly unfortunate. I think it probably was worth going back for it because uh, his coins aren't the highest, but yeah, these these well, these coins aren't terrible. My, no, my, they're fine. My threshold for how good coins are is much lower than most people do. Yeah, but if he didn't get a box and then like on higher FPS it's so easy to mix the, miss the construction a box as well. So kind of padding to make sure that if you miss the construction box it's not an issue. Makes sense. Man, 6 a.m. races, my favorite oh, kind of boy. races. 1:25 a.m. for me right now. Smith finishing monkeys at uh, 21:31, I think that was. I was gonna go with 32, but that works. 31:32, something like that. What's the, what's the sellout's time to beat? Is it a 6:24 back to Frank? I believe so, yeah. Unless somebody's beaten what Balmer's did in this first race. I think that's the time to beat. See, that's that, like, confused a lot of people, but it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, because there's definitely chances to lose time driving back to Frank. I know just that, but like a 6... 
30 uh, 7 uh, setups can sometimes be better than like a 640 setups depending on where you got the last where... instruction. Yeah, exactly. Oops. So there's a huge variance to it. Yeah, just. Uh, there's um, a lot of people that were confused about it because it wasn't explicitly stated when the time was from, and most people are just used to it being understood. 646. What? Smith, that's uh, chill. That's gaming. <laughs> that was gaming. <laughs> what? <laughs> Six forty-six. That's gaming. Let's I can't see. believe Amber's here. Just oh, tied. Oh, Six twenty-four tied. Imagine getting a six forty-six and Bomber's got a six forty-two and you lose. You tie him, sorry. Damn, that was that was insane. Like that was Miss Cutscene, but damn that sellout was A six forty six destruction was wild. What? What's the fastest one you can get? Because that has to be close. I mean I've got a six forty seven. Uh I need which to was see a frame video away from I, I know I've definitely got like a screenshot of when I got the 647 pop up. I'm not sure if I still got a video, but yeah. Amber's it was like my... right now too. Don't even know how it happened. It was like some divine thing just took over my hands for like a minute. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's go, Amber. That was, uh, okay, this that is was... not the best fourth car. I was so nearly great. I was so nearly, like, fantastic. 635 is still very respectable. I think it was a 636. Oh, okay, I just saw 635 appear. Somebody in chat will correct me if I'm wrong. I was gonna go study the tapes. Run back to VAR, please. I wish I had the VAR. It was a 636. And guess the cutscene. Gonna catch up to Smith there. I didn't see what um, Smith's end level time was, but Amber definitely caught up with the made cutscene. Yeah, lost about 10 seconds on the destruction, but made up like. 55 from the cutscene. So made up 45. Let's go. It's baby steps. Let's go. Amber was on like PB pace earlier after being a minute right out of uh, Bart 1 and missing the cutscene and only missed PB by like 40 seconds. So realistically, like, Amber's on form. And. I think for Amber, it's not necessarily... Okay, so how does this one work? 3-1. That, that uh, pan and skip. Because I did exactly what Amber did, and it didn't work for me. You mean Smith? Yeah, I was looking at the wrong screen. It's late. Give me a break. Yeah. Uh, so you run in... Oh, we missed Revenge, I believe. So, you run into the thing, and when the camera snaps... Uh... It so I gotta blocks. wait for the camera to snap. Yeah. The camera will snap after you can actually mission select. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, as soon as it snaps, like... Oh, I'm almost sure I was standing in the right spot, Spear. I just never got the camera snap. I forgot that was the thing I had to wait for. Bow jump from Smith. His coins are wild. What? Yeah, his coins are really good. He's uh, definitely padding his. Uh, yeah, his I forgot coins that sphere. I, I do the one in uh, one seven, but I just do it out of habit now. I forget what actually cost it. 
Yeah, Smith is gaming right now, even though he missed a cutscene. Amber has her work cut out for her. Amber has the type of coins I like to see. Not even that. Amber going for boat jump. Nah, Amber won't do boat jump here, I don't think, uh, because she does. Yeah, she'll do three phone booth phone booth. But, uh, not ending this mission with, uh, 900. Uh, That's this is. Um, this is Smith not good That's, for Smith. That's not how you do that. No, that's unfortunate. Like, it was very close to working. Like, I don't know what happened there. That was... That, that was, was wild. That would be real. It seemed like he got stuck on a freaking one pixel. I'm not sure if... Like, I kind of snapped back and saw it kind Did of it late. Did it get, like, um, stuck but... on the side of the dumpster? Or was it after that? Yeah, it was weird to, like... Because the side of the dumpster, I know there's a one pixel there. Because I've had that before. But if it was somewhere else, I'm, I'm it looked like it was appalled. somewhere, somewhere else. I didn't see it fully, but I, it was weird. So Amber can make up a lot of time now. If someone wants to clip that and chuck it in the uh, shark cord. Six sports car. That was that was fun. That's why this is my least favorite mission. Yo, we got some fish van though. I love to see it. Just, <laughs> traffic tried to screw her out of that a second time too. So what happened when Smith tried to guide it into the? Uh, into the strat, the Cletus basically turned. Instead of going straight down, it turned right and went nope. Yeah, yeah. it turned right, right out of the strat. Sick. I feel like I've seen that before, but it's super fucking rare. And then I caught it when it was like hitting the. Uh, yeah, I happened what? to turn around while I was. I happened to look over while I was like almost done turning right. But I didn't see when it turned right and what happened. I have a fan going right now. If you can hear it in the background, I'm sorry. We gotta do what we gotta do in this this uh you know day and age. In this climate. Weekend sick. It's currently 1.30 a.m. and it's still 21 degrees, so. Maybe, maybe. Hello, if I spring turn spring. down my mic a bit. That's fine. We, we gotta deal with fans, like, you know, it's. It's gonna hit 36 degrees. Today, so you know you gotta do what you gotta do. But tomorrow it's, it's meant to rain, so. Oh. Imagine thinking 21 degrees is winter. That's wild. Like, do you have any fun in Australia, or do you all just sit inside toaster and just like? I turned my mic down because you could hear my fan. Oh my. I mean, I could barely hear it, so I don't know how they could hear it, but. Oh, okay. What I said is um, imagine thinking 21 degrees is winter. Do you have any fun in Australia, or do you all just sit in toaster ovens? 
I think my favorite part of a tournament so far was you learning what a cheese toasty was. That was wild. Did not know <laughs> that. I'm now only calling them grilled cheese toasties. Smith's getting lighthouse wise. I have to say, his coins are phenomenal. Because I am from North America, where we call it a grilled cheese. Who was I on terms with that? Uh, it might. Was it top? Was it a top hat one, or was no, it a different one? It was not with top hat. It was top hat Tim's. Uh, yeah, because Tim's also never heard of cheese toasty. It was me and Tim's. Although that drop, oh, drop for Amber was horrendous. What do you mean a ham and cheese toasty? That's just a ham and but cheese you... sandwich. But wait, you guys don't. No, because then you toast the bread. What? Yeah, if you toast the bread, that's just adding a bit of pizzazz. It's still a sandwich. No, but. You get a grilled cheese, right? But you add ham to a grilled cheese. What do you call that? A ham and grilled cheese. A grilled cheese with ham on it. Um, gr uh, the the self-titled album Grilled Cheese featuring ham. <laughs> <laughs> and Amber also getting Lighthouse Watch. Let's go, baby! Yeah, that was a sick fast level from Smith. Not going for phone booth, though. I like how we just see the C. Yo, talk, Duff. Who calls it a toasty? At least we don't call escalators up C stairs. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anybody refer to it as a uh, upsy stazzy before. <laughs> oh my god. Back to a race. Uh, Smith's on. It's had like a 54 4x time. More. Ah. Is it good? Just on a point of more. More, yeah. Oh, the last split was the C. Savor your freedom, my cold-blooded friend. Nah, we're not about to meme these splits again. So... Nah, E my PB is one of the best things. Yeah, or uh, he nearly died. <laughs> All I can think of when I hear Toasty is the guy from Mortal Kombat. Why? Because he literally says toasty. Ah. Method of Bell was a good one too. Forgot about that one. Sick. Amber, That's Amber. Beautifully. Let's go. Usually if the nope. limo backs up and goes right into the wall immediately, odds are if you don't make any mistakes, you're gonna hit it. Um, because Smith's audio is really loud and I didn't want to have to fix it. So we just went with Andrews. I can switch if enough people complain, but... I also wasn't sure if he was listening to music or not, because I haven't listened to the async, so I didn't trust it. Yeah, we, we jumped onto this, like, very late. Like, we didn't know, uh... How the audio balancing was gonna go when Amber's worked, so... Yeah. We just went with it. I went with that because um, I knew it was going to be decent audio and it was going to be just a game because she's doing it live. I didn't know if Smith was going to have music or what was going on. And when I had Smith's audio at the beginning by accident, Derek told me it was extremely loud. So. Oh, it was. Haha. <laughs> 
Uncle Custer's twice fried triple dunked man sized barbecue potato snacks with freedom dipping sauce. Also, yeah, I'm going failing for one. Going for numbers, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't knock it till you tried some freedom dipping sauce, to be honest. But Amber on her sheet has stopped uh, even tracking the uh, 4 1 neighbors fail. Yeah. Because if you go for neighbors at 4 1, it's already a fail. True. I don't know why, but Uncle Custer's just reminded me. Amber, what is happening? It made love to a trafficker. I just got timed out. What? <laughs> somebody, somebody is a big proprietor for Four One Neighbors and didn't like my slander. Well, why is Detox a mod in here? But I'm not. Detox is a restreamer. So what am I doing right now? I don't know. What are you doing right now? I mean, restream would be a stretch, but... Alright, <laughs> uh, Smith's here having a, having a jolly old time. As, as a fellow Canadian, uh, Putin is fire, and no other country can make it the same. You mean Putin? Save me. Save me. Uh. Can we get a timeout here now? Like, what's happening? We're just gonna let a decent odds joke go, but if I say 4 1 neighbors is trash, I get timed out. Yo, car bomb in 4 3. 4-2, I'm stupid. Yeah, Let's go. 4-2, Let's go. Amber's showing me how to stop. fans. You know, I'm gonna let that one slide. This is my boost. Yo, I don't even care. I'm just gonna switch Smith's stream to like an episode of Countdown. Ah. Uh. Why did I agree to do this at like 6 a.m.? Why did I agree to do this at like 1 a.m.? I was having fun playing Fall Guys. I was having fun thinking about going to bed in like 10 minutes. We just didn't want Amber to cancel. We wanted her to have to do this race. Ooh, a cheeky cool guys. Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Move, move, move. Move. Amber almost failed for two. Oh, okay. The title is now correct. Let's go. For some reason, I don't have editor palms. Even though all leaderboard mods have editor palms and Ticker has editor palms. I'm really disappointed we didn't get Detops' breakdown of the group stages like we did last year. I saw Detops' breakdown of the group stages this year. He just didn't make it public? I don't think so, but... Detops, DM me that. I'll do my best. Oh yeah, no, I, I saw it because I uh, screened it for typos. It's only upper groups? Fucking... Fuck you, Detox. This is... This is Speed Simpsons 
at night, we're allowed to get away with a little bit of cheeky swearing around here. Everybody gets one. Also, I... Yeah, Detox is an elitist. You know, you, you know almost, you would know half the lower group, wouldn't you? You would know everybody in C5 and 6. Not all of them, like, me and Detox spoke about it a little before the tournament, and like, Detox just didn't know enough to be able to make it high quality, or any quality really, so it was better, but it didn't happen. Because a lot of like, Seed 7 and 8 would literally be... I don't know much about this runner, but I'm sure they can do well, smiley face. Yeah, Tyler is understandable, to be honest, but like, if you go through seat 5 and 6 right now, I guarantee you, uh, Detox knows everybody. Because seat 6 is me, you, um, Hi. Hi, Fuzzle. Rick Sanity? Is Rick was Rick a seed five or seed six? I have no idea why the audio would be screwed up. Rick was seed six? Okay, there's one that Detox probably doesn't know because I didn't know him before this tournament. ESCQ maybe? Yeah. That's what I was saying, Detops. Like, no, Detops. I just want you to write a three thousand page essay on why I'm the best. That's what I want. I'll do my best. Don't think I want Sue. Right, yeah, are hopefully. Is weird, or is it just a game audio that's weird? I should have gotten into upper brackets. I Bruh, I did scary. one wrong. Okay, stick to the plan. My man, <laughs> No, on why I'm the best. Yay, they won, they won, they won. Did I win, Mrs. Cutscene skill. Incredible. Incredible. Now Amber's on to E my PVs. Yeah, I was I was confused too why Amber restarted mission, but for some reason my brain didn't compute it at the time and just let it slide. That was a choice. Did her car take a lot of damage? That would have been weird to happen just in four four yeah. Five at the end of uh, Amber's March, just so you know, X. That's fair, take as much time as you want. I'm gonna walk up, do a couple chunky jacks, slap myself in the face, try to keep myself up. <laughs> couple of jumping jacks. Yeah. I'm sorry, in the UK, do they call them Jolly Jills? Like. <laughs> Today for gym class, we're gonna do some jiving jimmies. See, they look like a variation of star jumps to me. Yep. So, uh, I'll nah, just made a joke. 
Yeah. It's basically all I'm good for in this commentary. Instead of jumping jets, uh, he said that the British people call them... What was it? Jolly Jillies or something? Yeah. Close enough. You can find we call them star jumps. Yeah, exactly. This guy knows what's up. Star jumps. Let's go. Star jumps. That sounds like a weekend album. <laughs> okay, Amber is not too displeased. Who did that? I, I feel like somebody did that. They were going for Apu cutscene skip and just forgot to pause. Uh, I don't remember. Ah, so Amber had wonky Malibu and sort of a restart of a mission. Uh, oh. It. That makes sense then, yeah. I think you have to call it from like a phone booth, but. It's worth a shot. True, Amber. That was the most unnecessary use of the flick back camera I've ever seen from Smith. That was an incredible flex. Guy was like, I'm not worried about Wheel of Gambin, let me just not even look at it. You can't worry about the cycle if you're not looking at the cycle. Exactly. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Or something. Whatever, um, whatever Albert Einstein said. My best. I think Albert Einstein said Alpha 3 cin Cinema is a dumbass. That's wild, because my mom says that too. My mom, <laughs> yes, my mom also calls me LP3 Cinema. <laughs> the only thing I know about your mom is she likes Spongebob. She really doesn't. <laughs> For some reason, we once had a conversation about SpongeBob characters. And that's all I remember. That was like the first time me and you ever talked. Yeah. You joined my chat and I was playing the SpongeBob mod for this game. The now look at us, we hate each other. Yeah. Amber, Amber getting the wasp to. Giving that wasp the one two, how do you do, you know? Pump faked it hard. She's, manip she's manipulating him. <laughs> and yeah. now she's having a bit of a skill issue. Yeah. <laughs> <She got Mr. laughs> and then she went though, back, so. missed a bunch of coins, and then just, you know, went, ah, I'll take this one. Everybody gets one. Yeah, what did happen to LP5 Cinema? Uh, he got shipped off to the same military that originals are. They're actually oh, that, that's camp shame. together. So Amber's gonna get what a fifty-three march, which could be a high fifty-two if she's speedy. That was sick. Woo. How did... that was bogus. How the call truck didn't get stuck there. I would be so cheesed if that was me. Not your smartest play, Amber. Oh. So skill issue? Gotcha. Now you're speaking my language. I 
Yeah, there hasn't been any colossal mistake from her. She's just been playing decent. It's just uh, Smith's skill at all the little things adds up after a while. There's a mistake. But like none of these are super well this one's kinda costly. Yeah, uh so in PB uh Amber out of March is fifty two, fifty four. And she definitely had the potential to be close to that, but I don't think she'll be like that close to it now. I think she'll still be close. I think this is low fifty three if she kills this uh, if she gets the third truck drop. I may be underestimating how long it takes to get back to Simpson's house, though. Uh, it's gonna be within like that pole 40 seconds. Ended her. That pole did a number on how much damage she was able to do off the wall, though. For sure, it's not, it's not good. No, this should still be low 53, so she's definitely on PD phase, because I think her late game's not great. Yeah, so, as I said earlier, there's a lot of, like, small, minuscule things that Amber has done in this run, which, uh, don't seem like they're costing too much time, but they keep costing her, like, a second here, a second there, like, bumping into things and having to, like, slide out the back of a car so it's not accelerating fully forward. And so, that only costs you maybe, like, half a second to a second, but because she's done it so many times, but it starts to add up and, you know, it's most small mistakes. When you get to, like, the top echelon of play, that's what Smith is showing here. Like, Smith is showing where he's come to play. The fact that Smith uh, missed the part one cutscene skip and is still ahead by a lot. Is, Don't forget uh, the timer difference as well. The timer difference was only, like, 10 seconds when I started it, but now it's, like almost a minute because his loads are so much faster yeah yeah that's what it yeah. is like you can nail all the strats and still not be a top tier player because your driving is not good exactly complacency you gotta set your expectations low avoid disappointment be all right i'll be back i said it'd be back 300 horses of convenient power. Ha! Clean up in aisle one. Could you hurry up or my arranged bride will chastise me? The thing is, like, one of the best ways to get better at pure driving is just do Homer 2 inbound ILs. And it sounds like a meme, um, but the precision you have to do to be able to go fast, if you keep doing that, your driving is going to get so much better. If you do that for, like, an hour a day for, like, a few days... Thank you all for coming. I'll see you in hell. Six ILs, six Homer 2 ILs a day for a week. And you'll see your driving skill improve so much. Bart 2, Homer 2, maybe some of This is not good for my insurance. Oh, how unproductive. As a wise man once said. And I think just keep practicing those lines. Yeah, but I said uh, inbounds. Uh, for your driving, you should definitely do inbounds. If you're practicing, like, just your driving, there's no point doing out of bounds practice too much. Well. The main point is, to go fast, inbounds... Uh, 
I guess, but it does, it definitely helps. It, it definitely, like, it's no, you don't get worse by doing it. You definitely get better. Like, it's, there's not, there's never going to be a perfect practice for this game, just because of how different each car is. Certical IMs. Again, another decent bit of, of uh, advice. Social club. Looks like our own Asapima Petalon is taking on the mob. Hello, Steri. Hopefully, my store will not be robbed more than four times while I am driving around today. Who put this here? It makes no sense. That car belongs in the bargain bin. Come to Papa, random object. What in the hell were you thinking? Mr. Homer. Forgive the rudeness, but you suck. This is just between me and you. The uh, solo Axington um, comes for a minute. We have uh, the shipping forecast. Thankfully, there are no red warnings uh, in the British and Irish seas today. It's a uh, pretty metal. In Viking, we have a southeasterly becoming cyclonic, 4 to 6, occasionally 7 later. We have slight or moderate, occasionally rough sea state. There's going to be some showers, uh, a little thundery later. Uh, good vis visibility, occasionally poor. Generally, when those thunder showers are hitting. For those of you who love Chromati, we have a south or southeast wind becoming cyclonic. Three to five, occasionally six later. Smooth in west, elsewhere slight or moderate uh, sea state. Uh, thundery showers and good visibility, occasionally moderate. And we all know you've been waiting for Dogger. The wind is south or southeast, three to five, occasionally six later, when becoming cyclonic. Slight or moderate sea state and good visibility. And that has been the shipping forecast with Axington 123. That's what I came back to. <laughs> hey, every time I'm left alone in the in the comms booth, I end up doing the shipping forecast. I've been doing it for two years and nobody's told me to stop, so. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe we have. I just haven't listened. Get out of the, way. the thing is, both runners have been on, like, good runs. Yeah, it only happens when somebody else leaves a booth for, like, a minute or two. And it doesn't usually happen. So, it's not overdone. It just happens every now and then. He has to do the tide tables. I don't know about this one, Amber. Yeah, that wasp is not playing ball. And Smith getting armor truck. Let's go. Easy strat. Easy strat. It's not doing much damage. What are you trying to prove with this crazy driving? Yeah, it did get stuck. I don't know why. There we go. 
sometimes the armor truck uh, DX stops working, so you gotta go recalibrate it. Yeah, I sent myself to sleep with a ship and forecast. Oh, uh, true. Need a warm glass of milk. Some cookies. And a good book. Oh, I love a good book. A decent time around there for uh, Amber. I actually got my paper delivered to me, thank you very much. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the Amber stream refresh that I did the second I got back. And some t I, I used to have the evening news as well. Yeah, I can do it again. I was gonna say, take it off like down. That could be like PB pace there if we take two and a half minutes off. It makes no sense. The thing is, like, Smith here will probably get like a 10 to 11 minute, uh, but to like leave with like a, a 1 15 30 at worst. And Amber isn't going to get better than like a 128, 129 this one, so pretty much Smith, barring Catastrophe in Bot 2 and Homer 2, I think has it. And Amber still needs to get like Cutscene Skip, Armored Truck, Curator, Homer 2, Bot 2. Like, i definitely like to be in Smith's position right now. Kani, so if you kick him, uh, I think you can kick him once closer to the Ani, I think it is. Whatever, yeah, whoever yeah, that yeah. guy is. Come on, that one's definitely Barney. Don't disrespect my dog like that. I mean, Barney is one of like the worst characters on The Simpsons, but um, wow. if you kick Kani, like for Axe real quick? he doesn't. He doesn't always like straight away let you buy the Globex. So if you kick him, he's like one kick closer to Barney uh, when you can actually purchase his Globex. It's one of those things which don't really matter, but you know. I don't know, Bonnie stereotypes everything I don't like, so... Nice try, foolish driver! No, the thing is, I always 
wonder why we can't no. carry because wouldn't he just be rolling on the ground for a while? But I think he's one of the few NPCs because he has Dude, he perks up a car, he'll just get right back up. Yeah, uh, he like gets straight back up. up. It takes him like a champ. You yeah. kick him, hey, it's up again. Totally not supposed to happen. He gets knocked down, it's back up again. I'm excited to see uh, Greeny vs. Crazy Tone Dog with LP3 Cinema and Pet Pet Iguana. I, I wanted to, no offense to any runners, every, every runner is great in their own way, but I wanted them to see two higher tier racers go at it, so you can see all the up-to-date strats, because he hasn't seen this game in a long time. I thought you were going to say two very variances in uh, what Adaband we do. That too, that too is going to be fun for to see, but I know Tone Dog isn't going to go for it, but I'm pretty sure Greeny is going to do a loose fat. I know Bill's never seen that. For those who don't know, Pet underscore Pet Iguana is a super OG of this game, former world record holder. Him along with Mango, Zotan, all those guys are pretty loud for this game. And who was your boy you shouted out the other day? Uh, who did all the car reset stuff? You found most of the car resets, it was ONFG underscore Tom. The, the one I can remember most vividly that he found was um, the car reset in 3 1 on your way back. Let's go. Uh, Amber it does not have time to set up here. Amber had to go for it. And she had to go. And oh! And she went. Holy macaroni and cheese. That's exactly where Smith killed it, too. So that was sick. You got this, Amber. Easy trick. See? Easy trick. Typing during load screens. Weird jam. Okay, Amber's only like 20 seconds off PB. Yeah, and it's her end game that isn't the greatest, so we'll see. From what I've seen, anyways, I think her PB has a not, not optimal end game. Well, from what I remember, she, she keeps uh, eating it recently, so. Dove truck for Smith. Easy, easy pick. I remember this being here before. Almost, almost got the ward special where you got it too good and the Dove truck got immediately out. I say that because she's the only one I've seen that happen to. That was wild. Smith was in first person and ran into the wasp and then got coins. I mean, the wasp was still there, and I got really confused. That's something. Well, what are you gonna make me sound stupid? Just leave the driver to me, dude. No, 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 it's in like, damn, that's something. I know. I wonder if anyone's gonna go for Bill Strat. My favorite I Strat. I saw it earlier in the tournament. Bill Strat is like my single favorite thing to do accidentally yeah because nobody ever does it on purpose i put it off once and nice. went ah this is sick we've got a bill strat in a pb video in 2020 and it pb'd and everybody was like what nobody saw amber and um amber amber's bart and kearney playing leapfrog we do have a good bit of leapfrog
You wash your mouth out with soap, Tigger. Yeah, how dare you. My favorite Bill Scribe wasn't even one that he found, but he was the first one I saw do it. What's in it for me, Zipco? Um, he was the first one I saw do it. I actually think it was found by a guy named Nostalgia64. And it's uh, destroying the curator by driving on top of its spawn position as it's spawning and launching it up in the air. Oh, I remember Tone Dog trying that for ages on like low FPS. I remember these yeah, it before. was known to be like a console strategy. I saw Bill do it live in the stream, so that's why I consider it a Bill strap, but I'm pretty sure this is all just a key boy found it. But don't quote me on that. It's already quoted. Yeah, that's all I do is make quotables, to be honest. Amber's on 6-3, so I'd rather do anything else than talk about her gameplay. Uh, Smith just got bow jump. Nice. That is significantly better than 6-3. The thing with Smith is he hasn't really put a foot wrong the entire run. Like, this isn't going to PB, but this could easily like 124. Other than Barrel and Pussy. Yeah, but... I don't know, I don't really see that as like putting a foot wrong, per se. He also got a 646 sellout, so that kind of helped. That was insane. Pause buffering the board to 6-7. You didn't know that strat, so you can get it on the frame. Fun fact, if you, mission, if you mission warp on the frame that's available in any other mission, it skips the mission and you auto-complete it. Go try it yourself at home. Unfortunately, we won't oh, see. Oh, let's go. As a fellow one pause aficionado, I approve. If you're not one pausing, but two, what are you doing? I two paused it in my race. Give me a break. I didn't even get there in my race. True. Yeah, low one point. This. This is going to be close. Right now, I think Gordo has the fastest time in the tourney, but Smith's going to give him the run for his money. Uh, okay. Gordo got a 124.05, so yeah. it's going to be tight. Smith's definitely going to be close to it. Barring any catastrophic failures. Yeah, I was looking at that actually before this started because I thought you had the fastest time no and then I was like wait Gordo was kind of gaming in a couple races maybe he has the fastest time do you want to know what the uh, slowest winning race time has been so far was it me no let's go it was a 149.57 Assuming the other person DNF. It was a DNF. Was it against you? No, it was a uh, Zoton versus LT. Oh, yeah, Zoton won that because of LT DNF. I'm pretty sure Zoton was like far ahead, like not far ahead, but Zoton like. Zoton was probably gonna win it anyways, but. Yeah. Remember, what is happening? Amber forgot how to count. That sounds like a skill issue. Neither runner getting the duck blue really got. Sad days.
invincible skill. You mm. got it. I just I'm assuming know Smith, yes, yeah, Smith's going through seven too. Take that. Oops. I am surprised that seven two has become one of those things which are actually like usually done. I thought that was gonna work. Sometimes if you get up, I guess Ooh. it's not as consistent with the zombie card, but uh, this is a something for Amber. Um, yeah, it's a little slow when you don't get any coins, but it worked at least. I mean, judging by how her coins were at the beginning of the race, I'm gonna assume she's doing press either anyways. Yeah, probably, yeah. Time for 7 3 on 180. This should be fun. We all know this is your favorite strat in the game. Yeah. These are some... These adjustments are not really working, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they are. I'm stupid. I didn't notice he was actually going live. There we go. That one should be beauty. Right up the wall, out of there. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Smith definitely showing, like, how talented of a runner he is, but... Yeah, a lot of runners who do 73 would have struggled with trying to readjust that one. That's just experience. That's just like game knowledge. Yeah, just knowing how that trick works. Also, it's quite interesting to watch like 60 FPS runners go to higher FPS. Because on 73, they're so used to it just working straight away, mm -hmm. they don't understand how the trick works. Yeah, or how to like back up a trick. Yeah, they don't get how to fix yourself. Whee! What? Andrew just went right through the bolt of both John. Incredible. Yeah. Because on low FPS, it's literally like the cages just don't exist. Yeah. Whereas, so you don't have to adjust because nine times out of ten, you're just going to go straight up a wall. As soon as you hit those higher FPS and you watch people like sweat as the cages are near them. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on, I'm running on fumes right now, Keith. This is going to be a 30 second post game interview. Yeah, we're talking about 7.30. Yeah, like the differences between 60 runners going up. Fine by me. And how hard that adjustment is, because, as I say, on 60, like, you don't have to do any adjustments. You don't have to learn, like, how to fix things. You just go up that wall. I think is now on pace for like a 125, maybe? Amber getting bow jump. Needed it. These coins are fragile. Uh, they were just, just, just pushing, okay. 352 before bow jump, you could have just about scraped it. She got all three cutscenes though, so that's pretty fog. That is, I don't think this will PB now. No. Um, she would need like a nine minute home or two. But it could be yet another low 130 run, which Amber is just pumping out. Like earlier today, she got a 130 30. Like. I know Amber hasn't been happy with how she's performed really in this tournament. I think it doesn't help that like she's in the upper groups, so the people 
she is facing are a lot harder. Yeah, for sure, but I think... I know she was kicking herself after, like, having an opportunity versus Ticker and then getting a 136. I feel like the level of competition you play against not only makes you better, but it works the other way too, where it can lower your confidence. Because you're like losing by so much, even though you feel like you're playing well. Oh, for I didn't, sure, yeah. I didn't know Smith went for the yeah, he is, yeah. Oh, missing a reset. Well, let's go for Yeeks. Just gonna go in bounds. This is a smart play from Smith. Uh, he's asyncing, so he doesn't know exactly like how far ahead. But he knows that like the only thing that's gonna cost him a race like 95% of the time is either Amber getting like a a three minute PB whilst he's doing this, uh, which isn't likely, or him continuously resetting three six. No three six, sorry seven six. Uh, so I, I quite like this play. Um, this is definitely just to see out of a win. Um, there's one thing you can't do is be complacent. Because if Smith had kept going and like if he'd reset the mission and gone for like resets again, then if he hadn't got it and then do it a couple more times, it, definitely the door could be open. Um, but now he's just walking at home and I 100% agree with that. Kind of yeah, for sure. I think the odds of Amber getting like a three minute PB in a race versus Smith. Like, oh, Amber, Amber, Amber. Ah, uh, that, that's PB dead, I, I think. Or it's going to be very close. Yeah, Amber never got to do a live race. Tragedy. Hopefully in knockouts. That was an odd bounce. Wow, oh, that was incredible. Um, that one's a yeah, player. I assume so. Yeah. Learn to drive, dumbass. Easy adjust and you're out. Just, yeah, that'll work. That that's odd. Alright, so. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely PB dead, PB dead now, but Smith is gonna walk this home. I'm gonna stop talking there. Uh, <laughs> Smith walking it home into a wall. Walking it home just as effectively as Tottenham did a few seasons ago when Leicester won the Premier League. Leicester? You mean the guy who gets you heist in GTA 5? Save me. Sorry, should I, should I sound like an American here? Leicester. Is it actually Leicester? Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, it's Leicester. Leicester City. Here. Don't let him tell you otherwise. 
Yeah, this was a very, very last minute sign up of me being old. I'm doing comms. Just call me Air Homer. Smith finishing nice. with a 127.11. Uh -oh. A dub's a dub, you know. At the end of the day, Smith came, he respected Amber. He didn't keep trying to go for like out of bounds. He knew that he had to like get a decent time still. Walked at home with a 127. I, I respect that, you know. I think Smith is uh, flashing, was flashing something on screen. Yeah. I know he does have a meme on his thing because that was the thumbnail yeah, of the video. I saw it and that's probably why I decided not to play his audio. The GG Smith, uh, wherever you are in this world, probably sleeping. Full guy. I love that game. Buy home equity but can't refinance. <laughs> Windows 8.1 end date. Edge for gaming. <laughs> Oh, that's a way Pogo. Oh man, my car is gone. The ashtray was full of pe wow. Let's go. Sweet. Oh, that guy's nose. Bit of a, of a wide nose now. Now it looks like Smith's just watching Amber Fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Smith's aged a little since the last time I saw him. True. Being a shot mod has really aged him. And he's an Arsenal fan, like, oh, that's gonna put a few years on you. Amber showing how it's done. 7 6 yeet, clean as a whistle. I don't get that expression though, because you know, whistles aren't very clean because you know, you just always blow them. Also, why is Grandpa out with his slippers? And he's driving with his slippers? That violates like 50 driving laws. You ain't gonna get any parties from a gas pedal there with slippers on. Man, I'm just trying to enjoy some Pringles here. Does nobody read the highway code anymore?
No, in America, I don't. Oh, clear as a whistle? Why is it going to clean as a whistle over time? That's an interesting idiom of the English language. Because people kept making the line too long on the R, so it looked like an N. The good old R. Amber is going to come home probably with like a high 131, low 132. It's going to be LP3's PB. I'd say it's a good achievement, but... And Amber coming home with a 131.58. GG. Hard. That's a that's a fast next match. Yeah. The double L extravaganza, Larrikin versus Luke under Dash runs group Mr. Plow 10 a.m. Oh like a hurricane going off there. There's a hurricane coming through. Do, 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 do. It's gonna be quite a quick post match interview because I'm tired. Oh my god, is that somebody holding the Simpsons hit and run for PS2? What a giga chat. Hello. Hello, congratulations on uh, beating LP3 this time. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm pretty happy with how that run went. Yeah, if I didn't seem too bad. Um, apart from a couple of mistakes, like... Yeah, 7-3 couple... wasn't great. Yeah. Um, wait. That Marge was really slow. Yeah, the uh, Cotter Trucks was a bit of a yikes moment. Yeah. I mean... It wasn't awful. It was 319. It looked slower, honestly. Uh it yeah, it did look very slow. Um let's see what else. Oh, by the uh looks of what the chat was saying, it sounds like we both had a uh, pretty good sellouts. Oh yeah, no, that was nuts. Uh, Smith got like a 6 46 yeah. and you got I briefly like a... looked at my phone and I just see 640 and like back to the stadium for Smith and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, he got a 646 destruction and then tied Bulmers with a 624 on Frank. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, it was wild. So yeah, nah. Man, those clouds are going backwards. I don't know why they're going back to, but you know. Um... Listen here, buddy. I don't make the rules. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, shoutouts to... Uh... All the time I lost in a Barton Frank. The one time I get like the skip across the grass and dirt jump. And then I get hit and run. And the cop car just blocks like the black van for like 10 seconds. I think I made I I think we missed it because I made an Akibono reference that, that uh, LP3 called me an old man for. I was right. Uh, I'm not a. 
Homer 2 could have been a lot better, but like beyond that, like I'm happy with the run. Yeah, that was a good run. 130, yeah. 158. It's the first like Speed Simpsons run that I've had where it just didn't feel like an absolute like catastrophe. That makes sense. But uh, Smith was going to get like a 124, 125, but then uh, missed um, resets and decided to, to take a 7.6, 7.7. Inbounds, which made a lot of sense because he was async and so he didn't exactly know where you were, but he knew that he was going to get like a 127 if he was just to go uh, inbounds. And the odds of you getting like a 127 is like so slim that it was best just to go inbounds and take the dub. Yeah. Then like struggle and potentially keep missing it. We're going to have to make this short and sweet, though, because I need to sleep. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, yeah, GG's. Uh, I don't know if Smith's going to see this VOD or not, but uh, thanks again for volunteering to do the, uh, the async. All right. Bye, friends. Next race is bye. 10 a.m. BST. Thank um.